My name is Kirsten Thorne. My name is Alexis Chisholm. I first heard about the culinary program through Railroad Street from my friend Sam. I think I was in ninth grade. The way the program works is local students, they go to a local restaurant and they work with a chef uh, one day a week, usually on that chef's day off. And they work in a professional kitchen. Some of them are still open. You have the actual chef helping you, explaining why you do things, like, oh, why do you use this specific spice? What sort of flavor will it give you? I really didn't know anything about cooking. My family doesn't cook. We don't have a big tradition of that. So it was not in my real house. And the first time I broke down a chicken with Brian Alberg, it totally blew me away, rocked my world. And from then on, I was hooked. And it's a much more, I think, holistic and immersive approach than just looking at something online. And also, you know, it's just fun to be with other people in the same boat as you. And for me, what's so different than just looking at a recipe is cooking is very intuitive. You can look at a recipe and follow a recipe and that's fine, but you really cook with all your senses. It's what you hear, it's what you taste, it's what you see and what you're smelling. You can sometimes hear that something's almost done on the stove and having someone that really has gone through it and some of these chefs have decades of experience that they're able to share with you and coach you through the cooking process and showing you little signs to look for and they're really there with you the entire time. And it's also awesome to be in a professional kitchen personally. <laughs> Walking in that kitchen and pearls completely took my life on a different turn. I never would have thought of it as an option. And yet now my entire life, I, I am a chef now, which is so fun and crazy to say. But I went from not knowing how to cook, not knowing it was an option to Road Street showing it to me and it absolutely starting this fire within me. And through that, I met my mentors. I met Brian Alberg, I met Daria Rooney. She was the first chef who really uh, believed in me. When I found Railroad Street, it really turned out to be like the best discovery of my high school life. I can't think of any other place that was like so involved with helping me and has had such a sort of major impact on my high school career. It's kind of like, you know, an extended family, great adult role model type people looking out for you. I feel like that's what every young person wants. It's great, it's perfect. And then at the end, all this hard work done and all this learning, you get to share it. And the community comes and you have a big dinner and it's really a celebration for everyone. People get to meet you, local members of the community get to meet students and they talk to them about what they learned and your parents come and they get to taste the food you've made. And it's, I, I love the dinners the most, I think, because it's like a big celebration of everything that's come to fruition through all your hard work and through your growth, really, that past semester. The culinary dinner it was a lot of work, but it was incredibly fun, and it sort of instills you with a sense of pride that you're holding, you're hosting like a whole professional dinner, and we did that. So it's been awesome. This summer we had a really fun opportunity. What's so great about this strange time that we're in is distance doesn't really matter anymore. So I went from being a student in the class to being able to teach a class, which felt like this really beautiful culmination of the whole experience. And we taught probably like six classes where we delivered packages of food to the students' homes. I had to show food, make food at the same time while I was talking and making sure that other people were on board. And that was just a totally fun experience. And then we taught taught the class via Zoom and it was a fun little cook along Julia Child moment. My favorite thing about planning was picking the menus. I, I was really happy because I know at least one girl said that she didn't really like soups and one of the things in the dinner was a soup but she tried it and she was like, wow, this is actually a really good soup. I am surprised and impressed that I like this soup and that just made me so happy.
What I tried to do with my menus was to teach a new skill that maybe they haven't tried before but was applicable to many other things like we did shrimp tacos in my first round so we learned how to sh uh, sear shrimp really nicely and then finish it with some lemon in a pan and then to also make fun delicious healthy meals so it was really fun to introduce new techniques and new ways of looking at food through those classes. Like the day after or even later that night, a lot of people took photos and posted the dinners to their social media. That was also just super cute and I loved seeing it. And it was a lot of fun to hear the different stories from the students and what they enjoyed and what foods they liked and if any of them wanted to kind of try new things while we were doing it. It was really a creative thing because when you're on your own space you can kind of have fun and do what you want. I really enjoyed the entire experience, every experience with Burwood Street. I am growing more. I think a lot of people seem to miss how extensive the resources Railroad Street has. I think Things like this are so important, and there's many different programs that Railroad Street uh, offers and does with the job and with the other apprenticeships and even pairing one-on-one -on -one mentorships. There's always someone at Railroad Street thinking about me. I feel like they've kind of embraced me and done that with everything, be it opportunities, mentorships, apprenticeships, clubs. I really appreciate Railroad Street. I think that Railroad Street is part of what makes the Berkshires so special. You should care about Railroad Street because Railroad Street will care about you and does care about you. I'm eternally grateful for Railroad Street and I absolutely wouldn't be who I am today without them. And I think that they're missing out on a lot. You really don't know what impact you're going to make, you know, like you can't you can't visualize what it's going to be, but you really, every time that you pitch in, that you make a program, that you help a new kid, you have no idea what effect it really has on your life.